Welcome to Burning Eyes Tech guys. Today's short lesson is about integrating Microsoft Teams with Power Platform. Now for those of you that might not be too familiar with Power Platform yet, it mainly consists of about three main components. These three are Power Apps, Power BI, and Power Automate. Microsoft Power Platform helps users accelerate their development with low-code tools to analyze data using Power BI, build custom apps using Power Apps, automate processes using Power Automate, and create intelligent bots using Power Virtual Agents more quickly than ever. With the shift to remote and hybrid work, Microsoft Teams has enabled people around the world to continue to create, collaborate, and communicate with more than 75 million daily active users. Teams is how people are getting work done. Microsoft Power Platform provides many integration capabilities with Teams where you can embed Power BI reports in the Teams workspace, embed apps created using Power Apps as a tab or personal app, trigger a Power Automate flow from any message or using adaptive cards, and add your bot created using Power Virtual Agents to Teams for other members of your organization to interact with. All right, so what is Power Apps? Power Apps is a suite of apps services, connectors, and data platform that provides a rapid application development environment to build custom apps for your business needs. Using Power Apps, you can quickly build custom business apps that connect to your business data stored either in the underlying data platform, such as Microsoft Dataverse, or in various online and on-premises data sources, such as SharePoint, Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, SQL Server, and so on. Apps built using Power Apps provide rich business logic and workflow capabilities to transform your manual business processes to digital, automated processes. Further, apps built using Power Apps have a responsive design and can run seamlessly in a browser or on a mobile device, such as a phone or a tablet. Power Apps democratizes the custom business app building experience by enabling users to build feature-rich custom business apps without writing code even. Power Apps also provides an extensible platform that lets pro developers programmatically interact with data and metadata, apply business logic, create custom connectors, and integrate with external data. All right, now that we have a better idea what Power Apps is, what is the next one? Power BI. Well, Power BI is a business analytics tool which allows you to easily connect to data sources, create visuals, and gain business intelligence quickly. It allows you to click and connect with Microsoft and third-party cloud services, as well as on-premises data sources. Easily manipulate data and create visuals, such as charts, dashboards, maps, and many more, so you can present your data in an easy-to-digest format. Overall, allowing you to easily analyze and make sense of complex data to enable continual improvement. Okay, and now lastly, what is Power Automate? Power Automate, which is also formerly known as Microsoft Flow, for those of you who don't know, it's a service that helps you to create automated workflows between apps and services. These workflows can be used to integrate and update data, synchronize files, get notifications, and more. There are over 200 apps and services, including Common Data, Service Free Apps, that work with Power Automate today, and that number is growing. Power Automate allows users to easily automate repetitive, time-consuming tasks, providing a better way to get things done. We now have more accessibility. Users with a diverse set of coding abilities can easily utilize Power Automate. We now have more intelligent and more powerful capabilities for Power Automate makers. There have been a number of productivity enhancements between Power Automate and Microsoft Teams. This results not only in better outcomes in alignment with digital transformation goals, but also encourages early adoption of Microsoft Teams. Soon, it'll be easier to duplicate actions in Power Automate Designer with the cut and paste functionality. Righty, I think let's show you guys where we actually get this and how we actually got to integrate this with Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to jump on over to our portal and I'm going to use the web client version of Microsoft Teams. Okay, guys, I'm currently here on the Microsoft Teams client, more specifically the web version of the Teams client. The web version and the desktop version is pretty much identical for the most part. If you were to go and use the mobile version, which you would put on a phone or a tablet, that's somewhat different. Um, so for now, I'm just going to use the web version of the Teams client. Now, on the left-hand side, you'll find there's only one team currently that I've created. It only has the default general channel that comes with a team should you go and create yourself a new team. 
I didn't go and add any extra channels here because uh, that's irrelevant to this specific lesson. I'll do that in other lessons. I think I might have done that on the previous lessons already for you guys. And if you were to go click on one of your channels, I only have the one today. On the right hand side, when you are inside of your channel, you'll find what Microsoft calls tabs. At least that's one of the names they give them is tabs. So you'll have posts, files, and a wiki. Those are the default tabs that come with a default channel and a default team. Another name Microsoft gives this is apps. And I'll be honest with you guys, when they called it apps, that confused me for a while. I was wondering why would they call these apps when they are clearly tabs? And I think I figured it out. I could be wrong. I think it's because most of the time, these tabs would in fact be apps because these apps are the additional functionality that you're going to be giving to your teams. So by default, your teams can do quite a lot, but not everything. It doesn't have all the bells and the whistles and all the goodies. So you are going to have to go and choose what additional functionality you want to go and give to your teams. In other words, what do you want to integrate your teams with? And obviously today we're going to be integrating it with Power Platform, more specifically Power Apps, Power BI, and Power Automate. All right, so now how do I integrate my teams with something extra like Power Platform? You go here to the little plus sign at the top, right next to Wiki. Another place you can go is bottom left where it says Apps. So I personally prefer to use this one. It says little plus. I'm going to go click on that. And right off the bat, you guys are going to see this very, very long list. And check it out. Saying that this is obviously not just Microsoft apps that we're going to be adding. There's a lot of third party apps. So you can go and integrate your Microsoft Teams with just about anything you can imagine these days. A lot of Microsoft apps, a lot of third party apps. Now, the one we're looking for specifically today is Power Apps. All right, so I'm going to just start typing in power. There you'll find there's Power BI, there's Power Apps, the one I was looking, talking about right now, and Power Automate. So depending on which one you want to add, you're probably going to want to go and add all three of them, I suppose. You can just go and add them from here. And that will effectively give your teams, or at least this channel in your teams, additional functionality. Now, you're obviously not limited to just these apps. If you want to, at your own discretion, you can go and add other Microsoft apps. You can go and add all kinds of third-party apps. At the end of the day, this is just going to give your teams and your channels more and more functionality. Now, if you are going to go and do this, it's worth mentioning that you should always go and check if there's not perhaps additional licensing involved. There is a small chance that there might be additional licensing involved if you're going to go use additional apps. I mean, as we know in life, nothing is ever for free. There's always a catch. So before you just go and randomly add apps, that's probably not going to be mentioned in any other course, I suggest go and double check whatever app you're about to go and add before you go and do it, just double check if there's not perhaps additional licensing involved. There's a chance it might cost you or your company extra. So just check it out. Anyway, guys, so that concludes today's quick lesson. This is how you go and integrate your Microsoft Teams with Power Platform. More specifically, Power BI, Power Apps, and Power Automate. You can also use this exact same method to go integrate your Microsoft Teams to other apps, third-party ones or other Microsoft apps. If you feel that this lesson has been useful, please give the video a like. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Remember to go click on the bell icon, otherwise you will not know when I release new lessons. And I'll see you guys on the next video in Lesson 7. Bye, guys.